Hey guys, what's going on? Hey, it's us, Stubbs12 here with Gamers Initiative, and we are bringing you the news breakdown, guys. We have some really great topics that we think that you guys should know more about, some really important topics um, that we've done a lot of research on, and we hope that we, we you know, we bring justice to them as well, too, for you guys. Uh, but before we do that, before we get underway, hey, if you guys like what you see, definitely don't forget to hit that sub button, that like button, and that bell button to be notified of any new videos that are coming out. We're trying to put them out pretty often for you guys. We're really trying to keep in the swing of things, so we really appreciate you guys just checking them out. Um, even if you're just checking out just for a hot second, we really appreciate it, guys. We really do. If you guys want to see more of me, you definitely can check out the Instagram as well as Twitter and Twitch that you guys can see down below as well, too, guys. But let's get underway. Let's get our topics going. We got some really good ones, so let's do this. Here we go. All right, guys, first up on our list. Now, this is a news uh, article that actually broke a couple days ago at the time of this recording. Um, we're actually talking about PlayStation 5 and more importantly, the price increase that we're seeing among PlayStation 5s outside of the US region. Now, it's come across that Sony has decided to increase the PlayStation 5 um, due to inflation from, you know, from kind of everything that's going on right now in several other countries that do not include the US. Basically in countries such as like Europe, Canada, Japan, um, Mexico, I think there's the, I think there's one or two more, um, but I'll have the entire list up on the screen as well forward to you. Um, but we're seeing a, a massive increase when it comes to PlayStation 5s, which are already hard enough to get as it is. Um, I have one, I snagged it with the most like luck in the entire world to actually get one. Um, and I'm super thankful that I do have it and stuff. Um, but it made it even like 10 times harder for those outside the United States to basically get one. Now what this means is that the PS5 in the UK is seeing a an increase in a base model to 479.99 euros uh, like I said for the base model and then all digital version will actually retail for 389.99 euros now in Canada we're seeing an increase to 649.99 Canadian dollars and the latter retails for 519.99 that's the discless version well the PS5 costs over in Australia will be you know for the Australian dollar um, 799.95 and the digital version over in Australia will actually cost 649.99 five Australian dollars um, I'll definitely have the conversion rates when it comes up so you guys can see that as well too because as far as conversion to American dollars I, I don't know I don't know how we can base it off of but it gives us a better understanding of how it compares to us because we know that generally in the United States they're costing five hundred dollars and I believe four hundred dollars respectively or it might be like 350 for the discless version as well too but it's better to know kind of what the comparison is so we can better understand you know what this significant price increase from Games Radar reporter here on Cryer, Sony Entertainment CEO and President Jim Ryan has stated, while this price increase is a necessity given the current global economic environment and its impact on Sony Interactive Entertainment's business, our top priority continues to be improving the PS5 supply situation so that as many players as possible can experience everything that the PS5 offers and what's still to come. Now we know that that's still a big issue, the supply chain issues as well too, but to tack on an additional kind of nail in the coffin when it comes to um with a price increase that just makes the xbox series x look a little bit better in the eyes of many people and that's something interesting to report because a lot of people actually turn toward it towards nintendo and xbox to see what their response with it as well too now what they actually stated is that they're constantly evaluating our business to offer our fans great gaming options meaning that a future price increase can't be ruled out now our hope is that it's not going to increase i mean we definitely hope not to and the question does then you know turn to if the inflation does start to go down and we do start to see a recovery from the inflation will sony interactive entertainment keep that price where it's at for everything outside of the united states or will we see that price stay the same it's hard to tell right now because we are in that kind of major inflation point right now as well too um, but with the supply chain issues that we are seeing it just adds more strain upon sony interactive for putting out ps5s like I said, I'm happy I have one. I really wish that you guys are able to get one for any viewers that are outside the United States. I hope that you guys get one, but again, know that you're gonna be paying a little bit more for that PS5 whenever the time does come that we're actually gonna get one. All right, next up on our list, guys, this is actually breaking news that we had just seen from multiple sources as well too, but as the time, you know, of this taping this is this is actually breaking news uh, we're seeing that rumors are starting once again that Amazon is looking to actually buy EA and possibly Ubisoft some people are quoting but of what we what we right know you know what we know right now um, is that Amazon is looking to buy you know EA Amazon they they've ventured into the gaming territory but it hasn't really had much of a success with their console Luna which as far as I know um, didn't really do 
fantastic. You know, these companies, they're trying to get into the gaming industry. You know, like Google, they tried it as well with their Stadia, which honestly fell flat the moment it got out of the gate. Um, but they also do have two MMOs out, New World and Lost Ark, which I think are, they peaked like right away, um, but they haven't really sustained much of that peak after all. And with their, you know, unfortunately bombing of Crucible as well too, Amazon really seems like that they're, you know, they're just not able to have a sustainable life in the gaming industry industry producing their own games, which is why they're looking to possibly buy gaming industries. I mean, if you can't, you know, if you can't break in with yourself and make a name for yourself, then why not just buy the companies around? And I mean, we're seeing that from so many other companies as well, too. You know, these big companies that are buying smaller companies. And when I say smaller, I'm just meaning companies in general, because when we look at Microsoft, they're in the middle of their acquisition for um, Activision Blizzard and the recently bought Bethesda, while Sony ended up actually picking up um, Bungie. So, I mean, we're seeing these gaming companies and companies outside of the gaming industry that are looking to buy you know, gaming companies to, to help to kind of produce, um, you know, good quality games and things like that. But maybe because they've struggled to actually break into the gaming industry, this is their way of actually getting into it. Now, like I said, we've seen this before and that companies are being bought up left and right from Microsoft acquiring Activision Blizzard and Bethesda with Sony buying up Bungie, the creators of Halo and Destiny. Now, these rumors could be started because Amazon has actually shown interest in creating a Mass Effect TV show, which personally I would be really, I'd be a huge fan of. I think that would be a phenomenal show. Um, we've seen Halo venture in, which I don't know the overall response that Halo has had, but I don't think it's been amazing. I think for one, because Halo, like Master Chief, he removed his helmet, which never happened. Um, so that, I think, stirred up a lot of fans as well, too. So there's a lot of there's a lot of nervousness when it comes to actually creating a video game TV show because we haven't really seen a whole lot of great video game movies besides like Wreck-It Ralph, Sonic, um, and I, I think that's kind of it to be honest. Um, so I'm not exactly 100% sure. Um, the reason I said that these are rumors though is because there are other sources that are coming to, you know, the conclu or coming to what they're what they're hearing is that none of these these rumors are true that nothing has you know been finalized no documentation has been sent through nothing like that um just that basically they're trying to quash any sort of rumors that this is because it, this is not true and i'm taking that from cnbc's david Faber because he was asked about the report which he claims to have heard from some people that there's nothing currently going on with no such deal being finalized um you know it, it's interesting to say that because neither company is denying these claims though so who knows I mean, this isn't the first time that there has been rumors that Amazon wanted to buy EA. You know, they might just be sparking controversy or something like that just to draw attention. I, I don't know exactly. Um, but like we said, Amazon really hasn't had an amazing entry into the gaming industry um, with both their MMOs and their you know first person shooter Crucible. So who knows? Maybe them looking to actually get into the gaming industry is them buying, you know, a gaming company, um, specifically EA, which you know, they're both, both Amazon and EA are known to bring in massive amounts of money as it is, you know, so who knows. It, will this possibly lead us to, if they end up do buying EA, will we see a massive price increase? Because who knows? I mean, Amazon basically rules the world as it is. I mean, they own pretty much literally everything besides that and Disney. But will we see an increase in price that we're already seeing as well too from not only consoles, but we're actually seeing increase in price in video game, like, discs as well too up to $70 I don't know but I'm not overly too excited for this um, but again I'm just one person so I don't really have much of a say to be honest but let me know your guys thoughts down below what are your guys thoughts on this you know we'll, we'll kind of bring you more information as we see it but again these are just rumors um, rumors that are being basically kind of uplifted on one side and, and down voted on the other side as well too so who knows All right, guys, last but not least. Now, we know that Xbox has put out their upgraded controller, the Xbox Elite Series 1 and 2. And to be honest, they're amazing controllers. I love them. I have an, an Xbox Elite Series 2, and it's fantastic. The ability to change out my thumbsticks, the ability to adjust my triggers um, to either push down farther or just a little bit of trigger based off the game that I'm playing with multiple profiles and, you know, this amazing texture on the controller as well, too. I mean, I literally thought Xbox had it in the bag when it came to upgraded controllers. But PlayStation said, hold on, hold on, wait guys, wait. They actually decided to introduce at Gamescom, which is currently going on at the time of this taping, their own version of an upgraded controller, the DualSense Edge. Now I'm really looking forward to this as well too, because it, it has a lot of the same characteristics that the Xbox controller has. Um, but as you guys can see in the uh, photo in front of you, 
provided to us by IGN, there are a number of comparisons that we are seeing that are slightly different. Now, we don't know a price release. We don't know a date that's going to be you know, put out, nor do we know if there's going to be custom profiles. But we do know that there are a few things that are very similar to it as well. There is going to be the ability to adjustable, you know, adjustable thumbprints from a standard to a high dome to a low dome, which is really great. But they are also commenting that they're going to have a couple other features as well, too. Now, what we're going to see pretty much is a haptic feedback, adaptive triggers like we talked about, motion controls, and a built-in microphone as well, too. So this is really important. This is really great for those PlayStation players that are looking to get that or kind of keep up with that competitive edge when they're comparing to their Xbox counterparts. Um, the ability to customize your profile is fantastic as well, too, so I'm sure that they're going to bring that in here. But the first reveal of something like this is great because it allows, like I said, those PlayStation you know, gamers, those players, to kind of keep on to that you know, competitive level of their Xbox counterparts um, and the PC as well, too. What are you guys' thoughts? Are you guys going to pick up this? If you do have a PS5, I don't know. I'm debating because I really do like my Xbox Series 2 um, or Xbox Series Elite controller. Um, and I think it's, it's a great controller. It's one of the best controllers out there. The ability to have the, the triggers on the back is fantastic. Um, I think that's fantastic. I, re I really do, specifically based off the game that I'm playing at that current time as well, too. Because you can definitely notice the difference between going from that upgraded controller to a normal controller. It's it's massive. But what are your guys' thoughts? Let me know your guys' thoughts down below if you're going to pick this up or if you're going to let it uh, let it pass on by. Well, guys, that wraps it up for the news breakdown. Like I said, we had some really important topics that we had to cover for you guys. So we really hope that you guys enjoyed it as well, too. Really, you know, we really do. We try to do this stuff for you guys. We try to bring these news out for you. And, and we really appreciate you guys just being here more than you guys honestly know. We say it a lot, but we're, we're honestly true about it. We really appreciate you guys being part of this community, being part of this channel as well, too. So thank you guys for everything. You guys are the best. You guys are the absolute best. We thank you guys. We appreciate you guys so much. If you guys do like what you see, definitely don't forget to hit that sub button, that like button and that bell button to be notified of any new videos that are coming out like i said i've been stubs 121 with gamers initiative and like we always say don't forget to be awesome and don't forget to love because hell we could always use it and i will be sure to catch you guys on the next news breakdown adios guys have a great day bye now